Hello, I'm Dr. Terry Susan Fine, Content Specialist for the Florida Joint Center for Citizenship, which is part of the School of Politics, Security, and International Affairs at the University of Central Florida in Orlando. Welcome to our Middle School Civics Highlight Series. Today we focus on CG 3.8, explain the structure, functions, and processes of the executive branch of government. In part two, we focus our attention on the function of administrative agencies, including advising, making regulations, and enforcing laws and regulations. We focus on benchmark clarification three, where students will explain the function of administrative agencies. What is the role of administrative agencies? What is the difference between statutes and regulations? And what are examples? of administrative agencies. First, let's focus on what is the role of administrative agencies. Well, when we're focusing on administrative agencies having a legislative functions, this is the rulemaking authority to create specific regulations to help enforce a law. So this means that once a law is passed, signed by the president, signed by the governor, then it is up to the agencies made up of experts in that area, whether it be health, medicine, housing, education, military, etc., that they then create the specific regulations that would then enable that law to be enforced. What about executive authority? With the executive authority of administrative agencies, they can enforce regulations and rules, and they can also investigate and prosecute those who violate regulations. So that means that this investigation process, this serves in many respects as a law enforcement process. Was a regulation fulfilled? And if a regulation was not fulfilled, then it's important that these individuals have a prosecutorial role of those who violate regulations. So let's think about this in terms of two examples. Many of us enjoy eating at restaurants. So restaurants must be inspected on a regular basis to make sure that they are following clean and efficient and effective food processing and food service preparation practices to make sure that they're kept clean and to make sure that all of their other licenses are up to date. So if there needs to be um, some kind of a license that all the people working in the restaurant had to have certain training in order to work in that restaurant, is everybody's training up to date? And if that's not the case, then there's also a prosecutorial role. Fines, for example, imposing fines or closing the restaurant as punishment. Administrative agencies also serve a judicial role because they may hear and settle disputes and issue adjudication. So that means that that might mean that a particular um, private company, business, or person might believe that they were unfairly treated by an administrative agency. So whether or not a person has uh, violated a, a rule regarding what they might be able to grow um, and consume on their own property, or it may be that a business is saying that, um, that they were unfairly prosecuted if an agency said that they violated something relating to the treatment of the water that's used to conduct a particular type of business. So the judiciary role is to hear and settle disputes to decide who is right if there's a dispute between a private person and an agency or between uh, Business, how businesses conduct themselves, or even between multiple businesses, if one business believes that there are regulations in place that allow another business to impose and to limit that first business's opportunity to conduct businesses. So for example, it may be that there's a particularly popular business in a, uh, in a shopping mall. And so people who want to go to that business, they might use the parking spots that another business considers to be their spots. 
and thus people can't get to the second business without walking a far distance or they may not be able to find parking spots because of the popularity of the initial business that we discussed or there may be a traffic problem that comes up because of the popularity of the business. Nonetheless, what this tells us is, is that administrative agencies who are supposed to be experts in the field that they are administering have legislative, executive, and judicial functions and powers. What is the difference between federal statutes and regulations? Well, a statute is a law passed by Congress. It focuses on broad social and economic goals and legal requirements. The power comes from the Constitution. The courts can review statutes for their constitutionality. And the people who write and pass those statutes are elected by the people and are expected to act to represent the will of the people. By contrast, regulations are very different. They are administered by administrative agencies. Now the head of an administrative agency may be nominated by the chief executive, whether the governor or the president, and confirmed by the Senate of the state or the federal government, depending on the situation. But they're not elected officials. So the only accountability that the public has for people who are confirmed to head up various agencies is through the elected officials who either nominated them or confirmed them. Now regulations also recommend specific legal requirements uh, which we call regulations to meet congressional or other legislative goals. The federal bureaucracy receives its power from Congress and their actions can be reviewed by courts to determine whether or not the agency is acting in a constitutional manner and whether or not they are acting in a way that respects the limits that were given to them by Congress. In other words, what are the limits that the agency has in terms of their scope of power? There is an element of participatory democracy here because agencies must seek and consider public comment. So oftentimes before regulation is put into place, there might be an announcement that the public can go online and make a comment about uh, a proposed regulation. Here we have some examples of administrative agencies. Note that on the national side, um, we have a focus on the federal government and a focus on the U.S. government as we would expect. And we also have this focus on uh, some international issues such as the Central Intelligence Agency which works within the United States and outside the United States. Now administrative agencies that make decisions from the national side, those decisions affect everyone in the country regardless of the state that they live in. We also have several administrative agencies in Florida. Here, all the decisions made by the administrative agencies listed, those agencies' decisions affect only people living in Florida or only businesses being conducted in Florida. Their decisions are limited to the boundaries of Florida. Thank you for joining me for Middle School Civics Highlights. Do you still have questions? If so, please contact us using the information that appears on the screen. Till next time, I'm Dr. Terry Susan Fine. Thank you for joining me.